Welcome back, friends. This is our Let's Play of Star Trek The Next Generation, Echoes from the Past for the Sega Genesis. This is still your host, the Retro-ish Gaming Critic. We are beaming down to rescue some miners. Now, in our last video, we visited a starbase to heal some of our crew members, as well as, admittedly, to waste a little bit of time because I do not like this level. It's not as bad as some, especially later on, but it's difficult because uh, the only worst thing about it, the only worst thing, uh, my apologies for that horrible grammar, the worst thing about it are the enemies. They are kind of, no, oh, you just see one over here. They're kind of like the Horta from an original series episode that I can't recall the name of. But if you're a Star Trek fan, you know which one I'm talking about. If not, suffice it to say that the, that the basic plot was the same. Kirk and company had to save these miners from these burrowing things. Although the ending was drastically different. Here we're just going to phase their loving heck out, out of them. And there, Spock uh, telepathically communicated with one, and the day was saved. Now, uh, a few notes on, uh, on these enemies, which I'll probably call the, the Horde, just for something to call them. They only come out of the gravel, which you see we're on now. With these wooden planks, or the hard rock ground near the elevators, they can't come out. So those are kind of like safe spots. However, these planks right here are not the safest areas because some of them have, for lack of a better term, traps or pitfalls or however you'd like to call them. They're not intentional. It's not like the, the, the Horda here you know, set them or anything. They, they just give way now and then. Your crew members suffer no damage for falling through them. It's just mildly obnoxious. Ah, crud. Now, what makes the game a little bit more difficult, uh, come here, is the, the combat itself. Because, as you can see, you can only fire in eight directions. And with a lack of any kind of lock-on feature in this pseudo 3D world, it's all too easy, as you've seen so far, for enemies to be nowhere near where you can hit them unless you put yourself in the line of fire. Also, since your characters suffer a form of knockback, as you just saw a uh, moment ago, it's all too easy to be basically effectively pinned down. It feels kind of cheap, but it uh, I, I, I would hesitate to say it was intentional. I, I have a hard time seeing the developers cackling gleefully and twirling their mustaches, pondering how to best screw over the, the player. It seems, it seems to be just a byproduct of the way the game is coded. And to be fair, as I've said on my blog numerous times, this era, the, the 90s, were the best for gamers in a lot of ways, except for one, the, the, how to make a game difficult and challenging without being insanely so. Games, games today do seem easier than their older counterparts. But, and, and, and it's true, many, most today are easier. But that's because developers in general weren't really sure how to make a good challenge. The difference between a good challenge and being mind-numbingly difficult, that's actually a small line. It's easy to cross, especially when 
as it was back in this uh, this game's heyday. Especially when you weren't really sure. There, there was not much precedent. Yeah, as you can see, we're kind of wandering around aimlessly here. Because this... And this is just, just the first level, too. That's what makes not using a map so uh, risky, really. Is the fact that these levels are so la uh, labyrinth like. It is really difficult to get lost, or difficult. It's really easy to get lost. And. How's everyone's health? Ooh, Rikers is. Yeah. Only. have you second. That seems to be a good position. <coughs> now again, the, the rest of the away team is mainly here just to be cannon fodder because unless, for lack of a better term, you release them from being, from, from following your away team leader, who in this case is a wharf, they won't fire. I think that's, I think there are only two miners on this level. It's, I think the th third, where there are, like, a good amount, like, six or seven or something like that. I don't remember exactly. One thing that would have helped this game a lot is some sort of mapping feature, even if it was creating one as you went, which really was not easily done in console games of the era. Even in that was mainly the realm of computer-based games. Ah, crud. Yeah, these things do not stop coming. Hey, hey, is this an elevator? No. Well, at least it's a safe... Oh, this is the starting area. And then I think the elevator is up here. I believe there's only one elevator on this level. Ah, crud. Which I think is up here and to the left-ish. Watch me be completely wrong. It was like right and bottom from that point. That'd be funny. And by funny, I mean horribly obnoxious. Hey, I was right. I'm as shocked as you are. Now, if you remember, a good few videos ago, we came here earlier in the game and grabbed some ore, like that, which I apparently forgot to grab before. Or it's a glitch. Uh, see what happens if Jordy takes it. Apparently it's just a glitch. Okay. Anyway. And as you now see, we did that for a reason. Because can you imagine having to come back here? and get ore while trying to avoid these uh, Horta things. Yeah, I can't easily imagine it either. Well, actually I can't imagine it because I've done it when I had this game for my Sega Genesis, which was many years ago and I... Yeah. Okay, I think... I want to say there are only four or five miners on this level. It's not like there are a ton of miners. I think total, it's only, between all four levels, it's only like a dozen, somewhere in there, if, if, if even that. 
is just trying to find them all. And I like that. I can't imagine there. I, I, I can't imagine how frustrating this would be if there were even more. As you can also see the 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 plane window is not very large. Ah, uh, this this area. Now, these will cause serious damage if you get hit by them. Thankfully, what I remember not realizing for a while, you don't have to cross them to get to the other part of, of the level. There is at least one way per level to get around them. I believe those cards are only on the second and third level, but don't hold me to that. Pretty sure it's over here to the left somewhere. Somewhere. Well, we'll come. Well, I think we. Yeah, we did this. I think. Yep. As far as the ease of their crew members taking damage, I think this has to be one of the worst areas in the game for it, with okay with the only pot, with, with one area that's possibly worse in that regard, being also the same area with a worse layout than this this, the, the mines are doable without a map well, technically, the entire game is doable without a map or a guide or whatnot. But there's that later area, which I mentioned in a previous video, where I'm still debating whether to use a map for. I have one. I have not looked at it, well, except to make sure I had it. And I have used it before, but it hasn't been for a long time. So while this is nowhere near, obviously, a blind let's play, it's... And I, I, obviously I can't remember where every, everything is. But that area is so... Ah, uh, we're back here. That later area is so, uh, to put it diplomatic, it's so intense. And by that I mean intensely frustrating. The, the mines alone, sometimes you'll have to either go through your complete roster of characters for your away team, or and slash or beam up, race to a a star base to heal up, and then race back. Sometimes you don't have to. I have yet. Yet, even e e I remember this even when I did use a map. I've yet to play that later area without having to go through almost at, at least half oh crud, half of the crew members. Oh, maybe it was on the right in this. Yeah, it was on the right. I think it's like the third level where it's on the, the left. Now, this is as good a place as any to pause for a moment, as it is about that time. So we will continue this journey next time. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.